Hello everybody, this is George with Melnix Automotive. In this video I would like to talk to you regarding a sidewall bubble. Just like this, as you can see on this tire. The reason you get one of these is, uh, there's a couple reasons. Number one, uh, you probably hit a pothole while your tire was underinflated. Um, or you overloaded your tire. Let's say if you have a pickup truck or it doesn't matter what you have, if you overload the tire um, this will happen right here and this is pretty dangerous condition or if you, if you hit a curb but anyways I'm gonna show you what happens and when it fails what kind of destruction it does okay so before I'm gonna show you how it fails um, I'm gonna show you a different angle of this uh, bubble that's on the tire this is is not a safe tire to drive and uh, if it fails you you know it, you could lose control of your vehicle, so I don't recommend driving uh, a, a vehicle with if you have a sidewall bubble like this, because uh, it could even lead to an accident. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna set my phone on tripod, I'm gonna hook my uh, my air hose here, and I'm gonna keep inflating it till it pops, um, so you can see what actually happens when it pops. Um, but uh, it could be when especially when you're driving, it's really unsafe. So I recommend right away, as soon as you see a sidewall bubble, go to your nearest tire shop and get that taken care of. It's not repairable, you have to replace the whole entire tire. Alright, let's get going. That is exactly what happens, and I'm gonna zoom in. Like I said, do not try this at home, but imagine you're driving and the side wall explodes like that. So you will lose control, I could almost guarantee you would lose control of the vehicle. It will completely shred the tire, and uh, God knows what could happen. So once again, thanks for watching. This was George with Melnick Automotive.